It is about to pour. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to this video. I just had my first day of class at UNC, kind of. So I just wanted to give my first impressions, tell you how I think this is gonna go for the whole semester, and yeah. So first I should probably explain where I am. Uh -huh. I just got in my last class of the day, it's like 6.15 p.m. and I'm in my car because I'm commuting this semester. Originally we had planned to live in this like amazing suite with seven of my good friends and it was gonna be great but then everything happened and it just made a lot more sense to live at home because one, I'm only 20 minutes away and I only have in-person classes like two or three times a week. Two, a lot of my friends canceled anyway so it wasn't gonna be the same experience and three, just the cost of living on campus combined with the risks, it just wasn't worth it. So the first thing I did today was when I got to campus, I walked about 10-15 minutes from my parking spot to the library because I had a class at 12 and because it was like a 200 person class, I obviously didn't anticipate needing to speak at all or anything. So I just went to the library and I watched my Zoom lecture there. And then I watched another lecture for an asynchronous class I have. It was just like a 45 minute intro lecture. And then by that point it was like two or three o'clock. Uh, and I just stayed in the library. And to actually get into the library, you have to reserve a specific seat. Like they have all like 200, 300 seats of the library laid out on their website and you have to reserve one of them and come for that two hour time slot. So I did that. Uh, it ended at three. So, so at three, I went out, walked a little bit. I noticed that there was a bunch of food trucks on campus, which is something we usually never have. And that's probably because if you don't have a meal plan, like a lot of us don't this semester, and you can't go into the dining halls at all, unless you go all the way to Franklin Street or whatever. So that was something that was nice to see. I didn't buy anything from them because they were low key really expensive. And um, I wasn't too hungry, but I did get a little hungry later on. But there really wasn't anything else other than those food trucks, unless, like I said, you go all the way to Franklin Street. The overall campus atmosphere was very weird, like it felt like UNC, but it also didn't feel like UNC. Like the campus is still obviously the same, it's still beautiful, but there is definitely an absence of people that you could easily notice. Obviously everyone was wearing masks, half of them weren't wearing it right and weren't wearing it on their nose. I hope they put up signs that say that or something. Um, but then once you got closer to Franklin Street, like I just drove around that area, uh, the social distancing and the mask wearing got to pretty low part like I saw a few groups of friends playing basketball with no masks I just saw people hanging out outside eating with no masks so I guess once you step out of that campus boundary the restrictions get lowered a little bit so that's kind of unfortunate it's probably gonna spread to campus because of that the west part of campus was pretty deserted honestly like it felt pretty depressing walking through it the library was really depressing because all the seats are spaced out there's barely anyone in it anymore you can't like like there's always this little bit of chatter you could hear from the bottom floor but now that was all gone and i was not as productive as i usually am in it which is strange because it was quieter the dorm that i went in was again pretty deserted feeling like there was no one in the hallways really um, the lounges were pretty empty. It was almost dead silent. There was only like a couple people walking around, which I guess is a good thing because it probably spreads like wildfire in dorms. But it was also kind of sad to see because dorm life definitely made freshman year what it was and we probably don't have a chance at that anymore. Uh, and then it was about 4.30 and it was time for my third and final class of the day, which was the in-person one uh, at 4.45. Uh, I just I ended up just driving there because you're allowed to park on campus anywhere for free if you're a student after four this semester. And it was strange. Um, there's only like six or seven people in the classroom. It was like a 20 person total class. So there's about 12, 13 people attending online and you could like see all, see all their faces on the screen and you could hear them talk and all of that stuff. And then the seven of us in the class today, which is Monday, are gonna be on online on Wednesday. And then the online people today are gonna be there on Wednesday. So yeah, the professor had his mask on the whole time. It was harder to pay attention for sure with masks on and it just makes it a lot more humid and sweaty even though we were inside. But yeah, in the classroom buildings themselves, there was a bunch of arrows directing if you go one ways or two ways. And obviously they're doing that just to prevent people from going in the opposite direction together in a closed space, which was nice, but it was also really confusing to figure out because I've been in that building before, but now I had to use different exits and it took a while to find them if I'm being honest. It is coming down. Oh, also, there is a booth where they're giving out these kits to everyone with the student ID. And basically, it has two pretty good quality cloth masks in it with the Carolina logo. A hand sanitizer slash skin conditioner thing. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then, 
just a few uh, pamphlets and stuff with directions and stuff like that. A thermometer just for personal use to keep track of your temperature obviously. And finally this little tool thing right here, I'm not 100% sure how to use it yet but I think it's for like when you go to bathrooms or classrooms or stuff like that. Just to avoid touching the knobs and the handles like the flush lever on the toilet and stuff like that. You can just like do that or something, I don't know, I'll figure it out. All in all this was kind of very much what I expected it to be. Uh, I expected most people to wear their masks because UNC says it so much and they said that there will be consequences for not wearing it. But I also saw that once you're out of UNC jurisdiction, a lot of people weren't following the rules too much. And my camera died right then, but let me film a proper outro now. I'm back on campus. It's the next day, Tuesday. I actually just had a lecture class, which was really interesting. But they were able to space this out pretty well, which was nice. Also, yesterday, I got recognized by this dude for my registration video, which was really cool. I was next to see that. And just now, someone saw me with this camera. It's back there somewhere. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm a local YouTuber too. I have like 800 subscribers. Uh, why don't we check each other out and I checked out his channel and stuff which was really cool as well I guess just having this camera with this microphone draws a lot of attention but not in a bad way so that was awesome I always like meeting people with similar interests around Chapel Hill but yeah overall I feel like this plan is good for what it is in theory it would work out really well but theory is not gonna happen with college students that's just how it is um I still giving it like five or six weeks until we're sent back to all online again that's the sad reality, but I hope they can go as long as possible with this. I'll probably be making a day in the life vlog in about a week, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that is going to do it for me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like and a sub. I will see you later. Peace out.